I'm gonna show you guys how to make homemade gnocchi and a homemade pesto to go with it. So you're gonna need two potatoes, clean potatoes. And you're gonna boil them for about 25 minutes or until they're fork tender. While potatoes are boiling, we're gonna make our pesto. Take three ounces of pine nuts because that's all this little packaging gave us for $7. It's gotta be the best pine nuts ever. Toast them at 400 degrees for about five minutes. Just add a little color. For my pesto, I'm using a lot of garlic. I'm gonna do four cloves. Now we're gonna grate some cheese. Parmesan. I like cheese as much as I like garlic, so I'm gonna do a lot, maybe like a half a cup. Okay, Parmesan's done. I'm gonna do this much. Nuts are roasted. I've roasted three different types of nuts this week. Hazelnut, peanuts, and pine nuts. What's next? Bring in a food processor. The food processor, I'm adding the garlic. Roasted pine nuts and juice of half a lemon. Now blend this up. Now that it looks like this, add about this much basil, about a cup. Blend again. Now that it looks like this, whoa, hold on, why does that camera ball look so good? Mm -hmm. I got a fourth a cup of extra virgin olive oil. I just pulsed this. So once it looks like this, add as much cheese as you want. And pulse again. Pesto's done. And the potatoes are done boiling. By fork tender, I mean like this, like fork tender. Now I'm just gonna peel off the skin. Actually, you would use a ricer, but I don't have one, so I'm gonna use a strainer. I'm just gonna pass the potatoes through, just so they're still nice and fluffy. I want ricotta with this, but I don't have any. Maybe I'll just make it. Yeah, I'm gonna make the ricotta. Ricotta tutorial coming. So now I'm gonna create a well in the potatoes. I'm gonna add one egg yolk. I have about a half a cup of double zero flour here. I'm gonna add some salt. I'm gonna mix the potato and egg in together. Sprinkle some flour on top first. I'm just gonna sprinkle some more flour and then just knead as I go. This is after a few minutes of kneading. This is what she looks like. Now I'm gonna cut it into four pieces, so fluffy. And I'm gonna roll it out, about 12 inches long. I'm gonna cut them into like half inch pieces, like little pillows. Add some flour to the side. I don't have one of those like nookie boards where you form it. I have a fork, so I'm gonna show you how to form it with a fork. So I dip my fork in my flour. I put the dough at the top of the fork and I just press slightly with my thumb and let it roll off. And I made a gnocchi. Put them on a sheet tray with some flour. All done, move into the stove. I have some boiling water, I'm gonna salt like the ocean. I add my gnocchi for about 30 seconds or until they start floating. Once they're done cooking, they look like this. So after you take them out, you can put it directly into your sauce. I like them to be a little crispy, so I'm gonna fry them first. You're gonna add your gnocchi. Just let it sit and crisp up and move the pan as you go. What I go for. So ricotta is actually really easy to make and it's one of my favorite things that I learned in culinary school. Put it on the stove. You're gonna leave it on the stove till it's 200 degrees or steaming. Also it has to be whole milk, it's not gonna work with any other milk. So once it hits 200 degrees, remove it from the heat. Add a third cup of lemon juice or vinegar, slightly mix it, and it'll start looking like this. And you're gonna leave it alone for like 10 minutes. I'm gonna take a bowl and a strainer and some cheesecloth. If you don't have it, like me, I'm using paper towel. I don't know where it went. And pour it. Let it sit for like 30 minutes so all the liquid drains out. This is what it looks like after sitting homemade ricotta cheese. So I'm gonna add a pesto. To the pesto, I'm just gonna add a little bit of cream. A little mix. Now that it's nice and smooth and all incorporated, add our gnocchi. I'm just mixing it all in. Now plate. Add some of this homemade ricotta on top. This is what she looks like. What is it? What's it? Creamy pesto gnocchi with the homemade ricotta on top. That's good. It tastes like pasta. Oh. 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 <laughs> 15 out of 10. Oh my god. <laughs>